I knew I was going to be a Cabrini student athlete because I knew a couple girls that went to my high school that go here and from their experiences and how they talk about how they like how they love the school and the team I knew that I wanted to come here. Well in high school um, I got a lot of confidence from field hockey and I knew that if I didn't play in college that it just it wouldn't feel right because it was one of my biggest passions. Um, I was recruited back in high school. Uh, the head coach here at San Diego came to a couple of my swim meets and the process just kind of played out from there. I've been swimming since I was six years old and um, I love the sport and I didn't want to give it up. I swam since I was six years old as well as Lauren. Like I know that swimming is a second family and I wanted to have that when I came here. I would say when I came to a couple field hockey games I saw like the whole team dynamic and I just knew right away that it was a team I'd want to play for. I did have a recruiting trip. I emailed my coach, Cindy, and she paired me up with a freshman named Marissa, and I stayed over in her dorm and experienced college life. I did have a recruiting trip, and the process was interesting, but it was a little long. Um, I wasn't sure if I wanted to come to Cabrini or not, and it wasn't my first choice, but it kind of just played out. Like four other recruits with me, I think, so that was nice. Um, so we kind of stayed with a lot of different people on the team. I think I ended up sleeping in Tina's room and we got frozen yogurt and watched Full House. It was fun. I didn't. I, uh, I was just a walk-on. I never even saw a game or anything in high school. I did talk to Jackie before I came for preseason, but I emailed her and I told her I was from Hebert's and she said she liked that a lot, so it definitely helped, you know, come in the tryout. Did I came and I actually stayed with a lacrosse girl and she lived in the apartments and there are a few other girls there that played like soccer and then we met some field hockey girls and we went out to dinner and we went to basketball games. I got to experience some cool athletics. Being a student athlete is probably one of the hardest things. Uh, time management is definitely the, the biggest concern. I guess like the only challenge I have is like balancing my time because I'm in the honors program and being a student athlete, we have practices a lot, most of the time, but like the study halls help, so. Um, definitely the hardest part is time managing from homework, school, and when things are due, practice, and just how to like break down your day. Hard balancing all your classes with practice and everything and doing all your homework. I would say like trying to fit in time for everything, like a lot of my day just consists of like you know, waking up, going to class, eating, sleeping, doing homework. So it's really hard to get that free time in and meet new people because it's always like one after the other. I think it was because um, I played two sports in high school, so I always knew like I had my time management kind of down, so it wasn't that hard of an adjustment. If I have a problem on the team, I know I can go to the upperclassmen and they can help me with my stress. I do think that the upperclassmen help because I think that they know what we go through and they seem like they're here for us. I know I can always go to them or I know like some girls on the team, you know, seniors or juniors that they're the same major as me and that I could go to them for help. Yeah, it's kind of hard sometimes, but I have a planner and I write everything down by the hour <laughs> so I can check it off once I do it, which feels nice. Freshman year of swimming in school was not as intense, um, definitely as I've gotten further into my major and in my uh, academic career it's gotten a lot more as well as swimming. So I'd have to say that freshman year was probably an easier year for balancing everything. Um, definitely being in contact with your coach. Um, I was in very close contact with Jackie and we emailed back and forth. Definitely don't be afraid to contact directly to the coach because they will they like how you communicate with them and they like that you are engaged with them. I would let them know that like, even though it gets hard sometimes, it's easy to like ask for help when you need it and find it here because everyone's very willing to help you. Also prepare for the season. Don't come in preseason unprepared and you know, not doing any kind of skill work or running before you come. Just like you're gonna get overwhelmed. It's gonna happen, but like don't let it get the best of you. Like you can, there's always like help somewhere. On Kareem, someone's willing to help you.